And now to the coronavirus pandemic. Two new walk-up coronavirus vaccination sites are now in South Florida. Chopper 4 was over one of those sites in Color Bay. Good afternoon. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. The other site is at Charles Hadley Park in Liberty City. The two satellite sites are FEMA-supported and will only be open for a week. CBS 4's Francis Wang is in Miami with the latest. Francis. Hey, Maribel. Well, we were at the Cutler Bay site earlier this morning, and we saw those lines growing, as you just mentioned, in the chopper footage. But here at the Hadley Park one, uh, we're not seeing anyone here right now. We did see somewhat of a line earlier this morning when this site first opened up at 9. And the people we spoke with says it was an easy process. They were able to get in and out and get their shot within two hours. And I drove, you know, an hour and a half. Jorge Sterling came down to Miami from North Palm Beach. He hasn't been able to get an appointment in his area. I got the impression that, that I was going to be able to get vaccinated today, and it was the right impression because I'm vaccinated. Right. Yeah, <laughs> While he's not over 60, he does say he's obese and just recently lost 40 pounds. I did have my letter from the doctor yeah. saying that I'm obese, which is true. Unfortunately, Teresa Jones is 60, so she's right at the age limit mark to get a vaccine. A lot of people skeptic about it. Like many others in the black community, she was hesitant about getting vaccinated. About taking a shot because of a lot of history and stuff, you know, but I put that aside. For her grandchildren, she says, who she'll finally get to see for the first time in a year. I feel relieved because now I can go see my grandkids. They can come around me and everything like that. Yeah, I would advise anybody to get the shot. Right. And over in Cutler Bay, also a new site, one the mayor said was much needed. They're going to do a minimum of 500 vaccines a day, um, but uh, I understand that they have done up to 700 in one day. So, you know, there's some potential we could we could vaccinate a, a large number of people in the Southport area, and it's very convenient. The South Dakota Cultural Arts Center, you know, it's, it's air conditioned. And back here live at Charles Hadley Park in Liberty City, one woman we spoke with, she was frustrated because she tried to show her doctor's note on her cell phone, uh, and they say they weren't going to accept that. She is not 60 years old, but of course that eligibility expansion might be changing soon. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis did say that that would expand to 55 and older within the next two weeks, although he is not committed to an exact date. We're live in Liberty City. I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News.